if you find yourself on this video, you will be feeling inspired, you will be feeling positive, you will be feeling like you can do anything you fucking want to do on this planet because you can do anything you want to do. You're beautiful, you're stunning, you're amazing, you're so worthy, you're so worthy of everything that you want, you are important, you matter, and I love you, okay? One, two, three! What's up everybody? It's your favorite YouTuber, the spiritual bad bitch. My name is Anila Sita. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're back, then welcome back. I see you guys who are new here and I love it when you comment new subby here because you kind of let me know that you're part of the gang, that you're here now. And I'm so happy to have you here today. I am so damn proud of myself. I have been showing up consistently on here for you guys and bring the motherfucking vibes. Today I really wanted to talk about some exciting stuff that has been happening this week and kind of bring an energy again of, you know, miracles, magic, and inspiration because, you know, that's what I like to do. Let's just fucking get straight into it of what happened today, which is what kind of inspired this video. So I wanted to talk about this principle of so within so without like if you ever find yourself kind of being in a position where you complain about your life and you're like i'm doing so much and i'm working so hard and why are things not working for me it's basically something that i live by that has changed my life the past few years i know i say this in every video i'm like guys this is gonna change your life but dead ass it will you know if you're here to manifest something if you're here to manifest your dream life you're here to manifest money you're here to manifest you know love whatever it is that you want in life you're gonna get something from this video that is gonna make you feel good about getting that so again being honest with you guys something that i am currently working on healing inside myself is my relationship with money and today i had a friend over at my house and she's financially very well off and she's really good with the numbers she's very honest about the numbers and something that i knew i have to do if i want to level up with my finances and i want to have a better relationship with it because i mean anybody watching this here whatever age you are i think there is no time where it is too early to learn about money and to learn about finances i think it is such an important topic and you will hear me talking about it more and more because i want to educate women particularly because i think that us women, we have so many programs inside ourselves around money that we need to get rid of that and we need to step into our power and realize that the reality that you desire, it's in your control to get there. And for me, it's something like the financial reality that I desire. I tell myself, I can get there. But I kind of was reminded of this truth today that sometimes we think in order to get something we have to work hard because it's something that's been programmed in us and it's not to say that you shouldn't work hard yes you should work hard but with the right intentions if you're just working hard to work hard most likely it won't get you anywhere or it'll take a lot of time to get to where you want to get to but if you are working hard with intention behind it if you are working hard because you love it because you're passionate because it's the least resistant thing to do in the moment, then I agree we should do that. I know I'm like going on tangents the whole time, like when I'm telling my story, but this is just how I talk, so bear with me. Today, I basically had to put on my big girl pants and look at my finances. And this is very scary to me. I know I have a fucking smile on my face right now because of, you know, I'll get to it in a second of what happened after I did this, but I have a lot of fear around my finances, a lot of shame that you know kind of has come from my childhood I i'm gonna make a video soon on you know rich bitch energy and stepping into it and all of that because bitch i am in my rich bitch era and you are too if you're on this video and we are gonna fucking elevate together so today i knew i had to be honest and look at my finances. i had to look at my spending look at what's coming in because truthfully i have no idea what comes into my account i have no idea what goes out of my account i just live day by day and it's really bad but i'm just i'm just being honest okay because i don't think that we can learn from people unless we really are being completely transparent and so today i sat down and we were looking at literally everything that i spend my money on 
and as we were doing this I'd written everything down I mean I pretended I was writing everything down that I was spending in my bank account but actually I was like hiding certain things I was just pretending that I didn't spend money on certain things like no I'm just gonna ignore that one and I'm only gonna tell her about this and I'm gonna tell her about that and then in the end she was like um there's still an extra 500 that are just unaccounted for where where is that money then I had to admit like damn I have this thing with money where I'm almost a bit like secretive because I remember when I was younger money was not a topic that people talked about in my family and I was around a lot of people who were very secretive about it and when things were bought for me it was also like be quiet don't tell people that you've done it and so it kind of put this energy that you know money is secretive and you shouldn't talk about it money's bad you know and I think that a lot of us have these belief systems I thought that I'd work through this shit but quite frankly I've been in therapy recently as you guys know and this is a topic that has kind of been coming up a lot like money and it makes me uncomfortable and I'm like I don't really want to talk about it but at the same time I know I have to and bear with me okay this story has a point as we're doing all this stuff and I'm looking at my finances then had to again go back to my statements because I wasn't being honest the first time and really had to write everything down that I'm spending and realize that I'm spending even more than I thought I was but it wasn't so bad in the end I'm all right it's more so because I've been so secretive about it in my head and I just don't want to look at it because I'm scared that has been affecting my financial reality and making me have habits basically attracting more lack into my life because that's the energy of lack the reason why I'm talking about this in so much depth is because basically what ended up happening after we you know properly looked at my finances is I ended up seeing you know how much money I need on a monthly basis and sort of what I need to work towards it gave me a lot of clarity and to have somebody there to do this with who is very good with their finances and was able to call me out on it and, and making me face the emotions that I wasn't wanting to face like shame secrecy oh embarrassment humiliation all of these emotions that is truly all we have to do when we want something is we have to face those uncomfortable emotions and even this money coach that I follow I love her so much she's incredible I'm going to put her Instagram up here her name's Anita so almost like me Anila and she posted this video recently where she said the way to kind of level up your finances is to ask yourself what emotion are you most afraid of feeling and I love that question because it doesn't just apply to finances, it applies to anything you want to bring into your life. I have found that when people are struggling to attract something into their life, may that be money, success, love, friendships, whatever it is, if there's blockages, it's usually because they are avoiding feeling this emotion that is on the inside and moving through life and doing so much work, so much external work, oh, I'm doing this and I'm doing that, but yet nothing is happening in their life because the inner wound is the energy that they are really radiating. And that's why I wanted to talk about this concept of as within, as without. If you are emanating an energy of not feeling deserving of success, it doesn't matter how many things you do in order to get to that success. That energy is going to be stronger and you're going to be put into so many situations in your life until you are brave enough to face that emotion and just sit with it and be like, what is it that I really feel? And oftentimes, again, with money, it's like severe shame. People often think too, I've noticed that this is just the way that life is. It's not the way that it has to be. If you're struggling in something in your life, it's not the way that it has to be. It is something in you that says this is how it has to be, but you ultimately can change that. You can shift your reality by looking at yourself on the inside. I want to give you guys another example. I didn't even fucking get to the end of the story of the miraculous shit that happened. So after I put on my big girl pants and I ended up looking at my finances, I check my email and I receive a reply from a brand that hasn't gotten back to me in a while. I receive a reply from another girl who proposed this business project to me. And I was so excited when she reached out to me. 
I ended up replying to her, then didn't hear from her for a while. Okay, I guess maybe that wasn't meant to happen, but I was like, I'm so excited. Why is it that she hasn't gotten back to me? And then today I ended up receiving a reply. What? This happened the same moment that I was sitting there doing the inner work and putting on my brave big girl pants and facing my financial shit and looking at it, facing all the emotions that came up with that. And another thing is, while we were having the discussion, I checked my Shopify app, which is where I sell my meditations. Check out my motherfucking website if you'd like to, because I got meditations there that make you fucking feel good about yourself, that make people fucking obsessed with you and shit. But anyways, I ended up checking it and I had a spike, a spike in customers that were on my page in that very hour that we were doing the work together. And it really made me see, damn universe, you always do this shit every time that I am brave enough to just feel my goddamn emotions and just sit with it and to face it is when the miracles start happening. And sometimes, you know, when we want something in life, I don't know who you are, or what it is that you're seeking in your life. But usually most things that we want, we always think we have to do something on the outside to get there. And there is certain things that we should do, but you know manifestation. I don't know if you know about this, the steps of manifestation, but it's essentially you ask for it, number one. Number two, you take inspired action and then you wait to receive. A keyword being with the second one, inspired action. Inspired action. Not action because, oh, I need to do this because I have to do this. Oh, I need to do this because I need to make money. I'll give you an example. I have committed to making a video every week on my YouTube. Today is Friday. I'm supposed to upload this video in two days. I did not record a video any single day this week because I wasn't feeling it. And I could have said to myself, you need to work now. You need to do it because if you don't, you're not going to have what you need. You're not going to make enough money, blah, 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 all this bullshit. Whereas I was like, no, I'm gonna wait till I'm feeling it and then I'm going to make a video. And I trust that I will get the inspired nudge to do what I need to do when I need to do it. And that's why I also don't really believe in procrastination. You don't have to constantly be doing. I truly believe we are here to just follow the excitement in our soul. So... Honestly, I have some days where I'm very productive because I'm feeling inspired and then I have some days where I don't do shit. Procrastination to me is simply waiting until the conditions are more favorable for me to put in the work. I hope what I'm saying is making sense. Like the lesson that I wanted to sort of preach today is if shit's not moving in your life, if stuff is not going the way you want it to go on the outside, what you need to do is not do more. You need to sit the fuck back and meditate you need to sit the fuck back and just be present here now and I know that sounds so difficult and oftentimes when I give advice even to people in my life they're like are you fucking kidding me you're gonna tell me right now to meditate when I'm so stressed about this and I don't know how I'm gonna pay these bills and that and that yes I'm telling you to meditate because when you're meditating you are much more in a state to receive answers and solutions to your problems than you are if you're stressing the whole time and you think you've got to do a million things and I have really noticed this in my life is when you try to counteract lack of inner work that you're doing on the inside with lots of action on the outside you're not gonna get anywhere i've noticed now relaxation is the key having less resistance in yourself and trusting yourself more is the key and facing your emotions is the key i just want to give you one more example of how this principle so within so without kind of works everything is energy one of the biggest lessons i've learned in my life is when I'm encountering a problem over and over, I'm the problem. There's something within me that I need to look at. I'm gonna give you an example with love. Again, being vulnerable. I used to always attract men in my past that would never listen to me. And I always thought, oh, I just don't like men. They never listen to me. I'm always the one doing the listening, but they never listen to me. I didn't put the pieces together that that was actually because my dad never listens to me and also sometimes I've had issues with my brother not really listening to me I didn't put the fucking pieces together 
until I went to Bali and I went to a retreat and I really faced my fucking inner wounds that really men do listen but I was just attracting all the men who didn't listen to get me to look at my wound that I have around not feeling heard by a man and the moment I sat with that pain I don't feel heard I've never felt heard I feel hurt disappointed sad I feel resentful and it makes me feel really sad that that was the case but the moment I decided it doesn't have to be like that I can shift it by changing my belief systems so I face the pain of not feeling heard by those men in my life you know my dad my brother but then decided that is not gonna be my reality I am worthy of being heard by a man and you know what happened I started attracting men who still would test me and wouldn't listen and then I would be like right I'm not gonna stick around anymore as long as I used to so this person's not hearing me out I've had enough I don't need to put myself through this again suddenly the universe heard my energy it heard the self-worth that I was putting out started attracting men that did start listening to me now I'm in a relationship with somebody who does listen to me indeed and treats me like a princess and is just the complete opposite of what I have experienced in the past and the reason why I wanted to share this is because I think it's a very basic principle but it's something that truly can change our lives when we really give ourselves the courage to face whatever pain it is I've noticed this too when I talk to people because I love hearing people's stories I've heard quite a few females that come into my life say that men would always comment on my weight but even there I noticed that that is also a belief system because me personally I haven't gone through that why have I not gone through that because for me it's not a personal trigger it's not something that I experienced with the people growing up well actually I did but I healed that pain that wound so it wasn't showing up in my relationships so even when I would hear people's stories I could very much see that the reason why they were experiencing something oh that must be because she had somebody in her childhood that bullied her for her weight or somebody that didn't make her feel loved for her body so now these people are showing up and they are saying these horrible things not because they're fucking true but because she is being called to learn the lesson of self-worth around her figure do you get what I'm saying? And that is something that is so powerful to look at your triggers as medicine and to not get mad at what comes into your life and I, I fucking get it <laughs> because I've been there too and shit happens and you're like fuck everybody, fuck the world and you want to get mad at everybody but whenever I end up going into that state of getting mad at everybody, getting mad at the world I have to check myself and be like this is something from within because this has nothing to do with the world or with these people this has to do with some kind of wound inside myself that I have not faced and really ask yourself what am I getting out of these shitty situations why am I in these situations and sometimes the answer doesn't come but I promise you if you put it out to the universe you say I am ready to heal this same way I put out a command I'm ready to heal my relationship with money I'm ready I don't want to be like this anymore please help me put whatever you need to put into my path I promise I will be receptive to heal this and things have been happening like my friend showing up today and sort of help me heal my relationship but yes it's uncomfortable but sometimes if you want to grow you want to elevate you want to live a better life you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable these things do not happen overnight I just want to say that as much as I always say like oh this is gonna change your life and this and that I know this shit's not easy healing is very uncomfortable facing yourself is uncomfortable and it's the reason why the majority of people won't do it they'd rather continue to do the same thing over and over even if they're not getting results in their life they'd rather complain than to just do the simple thing of sitting with their emotions so I get it but I really hope that you gain something from this video I hope that you loved it I hope that it added some spice and some juice and some sauciness to your life <laughs> and I hope to see you again soon sending you so so much love and light